In this video, I'm going to talk about the exit function in C. So the exit function allows us to terminate our program's execution whenever we want. And normally our program's execution will terminate whenever we hit this return zero here. So if I were to say here printf and say hello world here, it'll run the statement, it'll print out hello world, and then when it's done, it'll execute the next statement, which is return zero. So if I compile my program here and run it here, we get hello world. If I say here echo dollar sign question mark, I see zero here. So what's going on here, just so you know, is when the main function does run return zero, that value actually gets returned to the parent process, the shell it's called, the, the terminal here that we're running our program in, and the shell can actually access that value. So when we say echo dollar sign question mark, we're actually accessing that value. And zero is actually a signal to the shell that the program exited successfully. Anything other than zero is actually a signal that it executed unsuccessfully. So if I were to put return one here and recompile it, and then run it again, and then say echo dollar sign question mark, I see one there. And that's basically a signal that the program did something wrong. Now, with return, we can only kind of exit our program in the main function somewhere. Exit will let us do it in other places. Exit will also let us do it whenever we want really to. So we could do it like in the middle of some function that main is calling. So to use exit, I've got to include stdlib.h. And what I could do is this, I could say here printf, and I'll say some other text. So I'll say some other text. And then here I'm gonna say exit and I'll say zero. So exit zero. And then if I recompile and I run my program, I get hello world and I don't get some of the text. So what happens is when this statement is hit, our program terminates. And when our program terminates, similar to the return, it's going to give the value here to the parent process, to the shell, and the shell can look at that value to determine whether or not the program exited successfully or not. So if I say echo dollar sign question mark, we see zero. If I were to change this to one, and if I were to do a recompile here, so we'll do a recompile, run our program, and check out the, the exit value again, we see one there now. So similar to return, we can also exit with a particular status. Now with exit, it doesn't just have to be in the main function. So I could also have exit called in some function that main calls. And that means that we can terminate our program whenever we want, instead of only terminating our program in the main function. And the reason why that might come up is perhaps, you know, our, our function realizes that some work can't be done because we don't have access to some data we need or something like that. And we therefore want to terminate our program in the middle of a function's execution. And that would be allowed with exit. So I could say here void func, and I'll say here printf, and I'll say in the func, and then I'm gonna say exit, and then I'll say zero here. And then if I call func here inside my main function, it's gonna call the func, and the func is actually gonna exit with zero here for us. So we could say here, and we could have some code actually below exit too. We could just, just for fun, we could say printf below the exit in func. And if I run this here, we get in the func, but we don't get below the exit in func because the function is going to exit with zero there. So if I say this, you know, we get zero there. If I put if I one here again and we run it again, we compile it again and run it, we're going to get one. And so we can exit our program whenever we want. Now, just so you know, there's actually two constants we could use instead of zero and one. So if we said here like exit success, that's actually a constant value that we have access to. And you can see the editor even highlights it. And that's a constant value for exiting with a success status. So if we clear this here, run it, and check out the, the exit value, we see it's zero. If I said here exit and I say failure, that's another constant we've got there as well to exit with a failure status. So I could say here, recompile it, run it, echo dollar sign, we see one. So instead of zero and one, we could use exit, exit success and exit failure as well. And that'd probably be more proper as well. So that's the exit function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.